When it comes to tablets with a compact form factor, the iPad mini is without a doubt the king. The iPad mini is the ideal tablet for those searching for a tiny, powerful device with an Apple Pencil port, Type-C charging, and a powerful processor. A new iPad mini is also allegedly in the works, according to speculations. See out in today's video what to anticipate from this new little powerhouse. The iPad mini got a much-needed facelift in 2021. Despite its age, the iPad 6 still reigns supreme with a small storage space. However, rumors suggest a new iPad mini is on its way. With all the other iPads being updated recently, it only seems likely that Apple will upgrade the iPad mini this time around. This upgrade is most likely a bump in the processor. After all, the M1 and M2 chipsets are performing well. We might also see support for the Apple Pencil Gen 2 and center stage. According to Mark Gurman, we should not expect larger iPads this year. Instead, keep an eye out for the iPad Mini Air and entry-level iPad. He speculate that these devices are most likely to get a spec bomb. According to another Apple analyst, Ming-Si Kuo, we can expect a new processor, probably the latest a 16 Bionic in the iPad Mini 7. As for the design, the new iPad Mini will most likely take after the Mini 6. However, there was rumor that Apple would release a foldable iPad soon, but for now we are considering that had to be a hoax. However, when considering the price tag for an iPad mini, it's improbable that such a new tech will be priced the same. Plus, Apple has the tendency to keep the price tag similar to the predecessor. So, in that case, the iPad mini 7 is likely to be priced $499 for the base variant, rising up to $799 for Wi-Fi and cellular model. Moving on to the screen, according to a post on a South Korean forum, Apple has ordered 8.3-inch displays with a 120Hz refresh rate from Samsung. If these rumors are trusted, we can expect ProMotion for those ultra-smooth scrolling experiences on the new iPad. However, according to another analyst Ross Young, it's unlikely that iPad Mini 7 will come with a ProMotion display, as that requires hardware changes from the ground app. One thing we can expect from the iPad Mini 7 is new colors. Looking back, the iPad Mini 6 and Air were released in multiple color palettes. Not to mention, the new iPad 10 Gen was released with a bold selection of color. So, the new iPad Mini will likely bring in new colors to the table. So what other features can we expect? According to Macworld, we can expect an increase in baseline storage. The iPad is home to books, movies, comics, games, and so on. So, it's likely that instead of a 60 4 gigabytes variant, we can see a 128 gigabytes baseline. As for the upper limit, there might be no changes. If the new tablet comes with 128 gigabytes base storage, we can expect 512 GB as the highest option. Now, what matters the most is, when are we going to see this new iPad mini 7? Chances are we can see this new device in later this year. However, analyst Ming C. Kuo suggests mass production may start in the first quarter of 2024. With all those in mind, it's still uncertain that we will be seeing a new iPad this year. However, with all the hardware refreshes this coming year just might be the year of iPads. That's all for the iPad Mini 7 leaks. How do you feel? How will the iPad Mini 7 perform? We appreciate you watching our video, and as always, please let us know in the comment section below. If you think this video is useful, please like, comment, and share it with your friends. Moreover, if you want to see more videos like this on your feed, be sure to subscribe to our channel.